Welcome to Business Builders. Today we are joined by Dr. Vidur Mahajan, who is the CEO of Carpal.ai, an end-to-end -end healthcare technology platform. You have described yourself as a physician turned rogue. Tell us more about this intriguing journey and how it led to what you're building at Carpal AI. After my uh, medicine, I switched over to the management side. I was running a chain of imaging centers here in New Delhi. If you look at the world of blood testing and pathology, today it is totally democratized. You could be anywhere in the world and you can get a blood test. The blood goes into a machine, a report comes out. Pathologists all over the world are signing out thousands of tests a day. Radiology, on the other hand, is still very constrained by the availability of the radiologist. So that's where a lot of AI tools are trying to address that challenge. We realize that there is an opportunity for an intermediary aggregation platform. There are 400 plus app developers, AI developers, building products for radiologists. It's impossible for one radiologist to deal with 400 different companies. So we ended up making Carpal, which is a single user interface, single procurement channel, single integration channel for this whole AI ecosystem. That's how I went rogue, right? So I went from uh, being a provider of healthcare to being a seller of technology to healthcare organizations. Yes, and such a great story. Can you give us a few examples of both the economic and also the clinical outcomes that you've helped to drive? The easiest example to explain is that of mammograms. There are not enough radiologists to read these mammograms that are done. And that leads to delays in terms of reporting turnaround times. The way we are solving that problem is by coming in and saying that, hey, you have a bunch of mammograms that are done. AI can help you identify which one of those don't have cancer. Because now this radiologist is reporting 5x, 10x more scans on the backing of AI on patients that are suspicious for cancer. Detecting cancer earlier, improving clinical outcomes, and at the same time, exponentially increasing the availability of a service and thereby driving an economic outcome. You've actually created some pretty tremendous outcomes there. So congratulations on that. Managing sensitive health information and working with providers globally must also be a big challenge for you. So how do you approach that from a technology and infrastructure standpoint? We have two layers. We have the platform layer, which serves as the data orchestration layer. And then we have the AI algorithms themselves. Most of the AI algorithms are hosted on cloud. The beauty of uh, being able to sit on a laptop or even a phone, right? Have, have a phone spin up a VM anywhere on the planet and, you know, just get it to adhere to all sorts of security requirements instantaneously, automatically deploy all sorts of software on it instantaneously. Carpal would not be possible 10 years ago if the magic of the cloud didn't exist. I'd love to hear more about specific metrics on how moving to the cloud actually helped you grow your business or serve your customers better. When the value of something is just so obvious, how do you even measure it, right? It is infinite ROI. We would not exist if the cloud did not exist. It's amazing what you're, you've done already, but I'm quite interested to hear what you're going to do. So tell us a bit about what the future holds for Carpal AI, and importantly, how we here at AWS can help you. Our goal, our vision is to make radiologists 5x more productive in the next five to seven years. That is only possible if we provide to them the encapsulated value of the entire AI ecosystem available. AWS, of course, you know, uh, we envision two ways of partnership. One is on the technology side, help us be better. And then once we crack that nut, uh, take us everywhere you are, which is essentially everywhere. So, uh, so that's how we think about it, Anna. Vida, it is great to see how automation in radiology is evolving. And it's really inspiring to see the work that you and your team are doing in this space. Thank you so much for joining us on Business Builders to share your journey.